Hey there folks, Merry Christmas. Well, it's Christmas season when I'm making this. I don't know when it is that you're viewing it, but it can be Christmas in your heart all year long. Merry Christmas to you, and today I'm going to talk about this gun right here. This is the PX-9 Duty Pistol from SDS Import. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a new gun. It's a relatively new gun. Well, it should be new to you. If you're familiar with the uh, Zigana, the Z-I-G-A-N-A, -A, Zigana, or TSAS pistols that SDS Imports has been bringing in, they had a Gen 1. Then they made some upgrades to the Gen 1. And one of the upgrades was not only interchangeable back straps, but interchangeable side grip panels. Uh, then, but the, uh, the Gen 2, it had a thumb safety right here. And it, it had a little bit different of a trigger in it. Not totally different. But what is different about this one? Well, first and foremost, this one comes in flat dark earth. It is a Gen 3. It has a striker fired trigger and obviously you see that the trigger safety is in red right there it stands out that's very common nowadays it has a polymer frame and yes the polymer frame does have you pop this little pin out right here and they even give you a, a little tool with which to do that you pop that little pin out you can change the back strap the back straps come in small medium and large and the side grip panels these side grip panels, left and right, also come in small, medium, and large. Uh, my preference for this gun is the mediums. I put the medium uh, grip panels and the medium back strap on it and works for me. Oh, before we get any further, I don't want to be an Alec Baldwin here, so we'll go ahead and open it up, put my little pinky in there, look at it. Okay, it's free of live ammunition. So what makes this a duty gun? Well, up on top here, what you may have noticed, or if you look closely, uh, these sights look a little bit different than the previous models. These are put in with a Glock 17 sight cut and a Glock 17 front sight mount. The sights, if you look right there, we've got a, a serrated steel black rear sight no optics or, or uh, no fiber optics there, no tritium there, no paint there, which is very smart because I don't want paint or tritium or I don't want fiber optic or anything like that in the back, especially not white paint. White paint and a rear sight, bad thing. Up front, you've got a green fiber optic and these work just fine. The green fiber optic stands out, especially in bright sunlight, not so much in the dark, but it's still okay. They're not that expensive. If you got this pistol later on, you said, oh, I really like it. I'd like to have tritium sights because I want tritium sights and so on and so forth. Fantastic. Uh, you can remove these and you can install Glock 17 tritium sights or any sights onto this gun. Now let's look at the top right here. If, if I hold it up, you'll see the top. You say, it looks like that's a removable plate. That's because it is a removable plate. And if you take this off, it has an RMR, a Trigicon RMR cut. Okay, it has an RMR footprint. So this gun is ready to take off the plate, the cover plate, and you can install an RMR optic right directly onto the top of that. What's up front here? Well, it should be obvious since we've got the, the uh, thread cover that this has a factory threaded barrel it has a factory threaded barrel. It is half by 28 right hand twist, which is very common in the United States. That's what you want. I did fire this with a suppressor on it, ran just fine. So this gun, special features on this gun, threaded barrel, a fiber optic sights, real good sights. The slide is already pre-cut for an RMR optic if you want that. It comes with interchangeable back straps and grip panels. Now, if you look right here, the magazine well is already beveled, but if you really want to make it a super mag well, you can put this on there, install one screw, and boom. There you go. 
Uh, I don't really need that because this is already beveled and, and I think it's actually pretty good. Let's talk about the magazines. What's different about the magazines? Right here, if you look real close, you're like, well, where are all the holes, man? What did they do with the holes? There's supposed to be 18 holes in the back of this. Uh, no. Here's the deal. They did something really smart. If you know anything about the Beretta M9 mags, if you know about the P35 high power mags, they don't have 17, 15, 16, 17 holes in the back. What they have is they have a five with the Beretta and the uh, uh, P9, P35, excuse me. The P35 high point has a five, a 10, and a 13. The Beretta has a five, and a 10, and a 15. So what they did, because this is a duty pistol, and they expect this gun to be used in extreme conditions, all right? So our hostile environments. They move the witness holes over to the side, and rather than drill 18 or 17 holes in the magazine, there's a 5, a 10, a 15, and then there's an 18. I don't know why they decided to do a 15 and an 18, but whatever. So rather than, these are 18 round magazines. Look at it, they hold 18 rounds. So rather than drilling 18 holes into the back of the magazine where dust and grit and lint and crap can get into the magazine, what they did is they did away with that and they just have four. So if you can't deal with five, 10, 15, 18, I don't know, get a different pistol or something. I thought that was a very intelligent design, a very thoughtful and intelligent design for these magazines. All right, the pistol comes with the pistol. It comes with two 18-round magazines, and these are SIG 226 pattern magazines. FYI, they're SIG 226 pattern magazines. It comes with a loading tool. It comes with the little tool, and this tool actually can be used to remove the screws from the top plate and this tool can also be used to thread in the screw for the magwell. All right. It comes with three sets of, or th there you go, three sets of back straps, a small, medium, and a large back straps and grips. Uh, you get a cleaning rag brush and then you get a scrubby scrub barrel brush. All right, and uh, it also comes with a, a Spartan style holster. Now, you might be asking, you say, okay, I went to my favorite holster maker and they didn't have a holster for this. Aha, that's because this frame and slide are close enough to the XDM, the Springfield XDM. This is an XDM polymer holster that I happen to have. It's a belt holster. I had this on hand. Uh, you can see it's a little bit scratched up because I've been rolling around on the ground with it and doing drills and so forth. But the XDM holster fits this gun like a glove. Fits this gun like a glove. So if you purchase one of these guns right here, if you purchase the PX9 Gen 3 duty gun, you can basically buy any kind of an XDM 9mm holster and it's going to fit for you, whether in the waistband, outside of the waistband, whatever. Before I sat down to do this review, I went out to the range three different times. I ran through a whole bunch of drills. I did the one box workout drill. I did some distance shooting. Uh, I shot a steel silhouette out at 30 yards with this. Then I moved all the way back to 50. Ding! As long as I did my part, the bullets went where they needed to be. Uh, I put the suppressor on there. I put a suppressor on there, shot it suppressed. No problem, cycled every single time. I fired Black Hills Jacket, Hollow Point, and Full Metal Jacket, CCI, Century Ammo, Federal Hydroshock, and I also, because this is a duty gun and they expect it to, uh, well, be able to handle hostile environment and hard, harsh conditions, I also put M882 ball. That is a military ball. It's a U.S. military 9mm. And the U.S. military 9mm uh, has to run in everything that the U.S. military has, including pistols, carbines, submachine guns. So the M882, if you know anything about ammunition, is a plus P plus ammunition. It's a 124 grain ball at plus P plus velocities and pressures. 
shot it through this gun, no problem. So if you're waiting for me to tell you, oh, I did this and that and the gun quit or stopped or malfunctioned or whatever, you're gonna have to keep waiting. Uh, the one thing I did when I got this from the factory is I took it apart. It's really simple to take apart. Uh, you don't have to press the trigger uh, so much to disassemble it. You've got, you lock it back right here. You lock it open, take the disassembly lever and the do, and then you pull it back and take the slide tension, the tension off. There you go, the slide it off. All right. Uh, so yeah, you do have to press the trigger to take the tension off, but you use this lever as the takedown. And then to put it back together, you just slide it back, lock it, rotate the lever up, and we're good to go again. All right. Uh, the factory pressure on the trigger, they say it's about 4.2 pounds. I found that the trigger is fantastic. It works very well. These guns are very, very price friendly. I don't want to say cheap because they're not cheap guns. They're really well-made guns, but they're, they're priced to sell. Okay. You get a whole lot of gun for not that much money. So ladies and gentlemen, Merry Christmas to you, the American gun buyer. SDS Imports is a brand new gun. It is called the PX9 Gen 3, and this is the Gen 3 duty model. And they're going to be available at a local dealer or a distributor near you. I am Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.